what would a science fiction branch of the military be without robot dogs? This reporter hasn't lost his mind. The U.S. Space Force is actually testing robot dogs to patrol the Cape Canaveral launch pads. Space Force released these photos, showing the mechanical canines in action, saying they would be used for patrol and damage assessment. By now, you've certainly seen these videos. These dogs are not man's best friend, and they don't play fetch. But they are capable of mounting machine guns, and unlike their real counterparts, they never sleep. He does all of the dull, dirty, and dangerous situations. So anything boring where you have these low-paid employees that may not be paying attention for security, it doesn't get boring. The robots sport a wide array of sensors, including acoustic, optical, and thermal, so nothing can hide from them. And the Space Force models will serve as communications beacons mounted with a series of antenna to serve as range-boosting relays. They can also be set up to operate entirely autonomously. If the thought of omniscient machines incapable of stopping or feeling mercy disturbs you, rest assured, governments have already been using them for a while. This robot has been inspecting and monitoring the Paris underground for 10 months. So we're talking about under platforms, under metro platforms, in underground galleries, inside a viaduct. We prefer to send a robot than to send a colleague. That's okay, you say. They're just doing guard duty in boring places. You don't have to worry about them romping through your neighborhood anytime soon, do you? Well, China's already used them to patrol cities and enforce coronavirus lockdowns. Try convincing a machine to leave you alone. And aside from patrol duty, many nations, including Israel, have already integrated autonomous or at least semi-autonomous weapons into their military. Don't want it to be completely autonomous. This is, of course, a machine capable of killings. It is completely self-reliant. You don't have to have someone on the other side, but it is very much recommended (laughs) that you don't let machines kill people. So if you were ever worried about a possible machine army, it will look a little less like this and a lot more like this.